Hi, this is Craig Stocks, and this is my photo critique of the day. Today's photo was provided to us by Scott Meekham. So, Scott, thank you so much for sharing your work. Uh, obviously, we can't look at the photos and do photo critiques without photos being submitted. So, I appreciate all of you who have taken the time to share your images for us to look at. This is obviously a photo of a flag it appears to be flapping in the wind at sunset. We have the sun just kind of wonderfully positioned here in the uh, lower portion of the frame, lighting up the, the flag so it's kind of translucent and backlit, which really makes the white stripes and red stripes pop out. Uh, wonderful colors with the, uh, the deep orange and yellow in the sky fading into blue. So we have, again, this great color contrast of the uh, warm tones and the cool tones. I like the way the flag is position so that it's at a little bit of an angle and you can just kind of imagine it flapping in the breeze. Uh, I also like the you've included the beam at the top and that gives a framing element at the top. Uh, besides showing the flag is attached to something, it really, I don't want to say it grounds it, but it gives the flag something to hang on to and a framing element at the top. A couple things I might consider with this image that first of all, uh, overall it seems too dark. The uh, the stars and the, the field up here are getting lost and the white stripes are really still just kind of a dark yellow. And so I think you could brighten up the image overall uh, and just kind of watching the histogram over here and as I brighten it up that gives us a little bit more of that feeling of staring into the sun, uh, still not blowing out any of the colors, none of the whites have blocked up, but it's, it's giving us a little bit more of that staring into the sun feeling. And in fact, you could, if you wanted, you could even go a little bit further. If you wanted to add a local adjustment, we could put a, a radial adjustment in the center and take the uh, brightness up even more to really get it to pop there in the center. So I think that helps the image overall have a little bit more of that sense of looking into the sun. Uh, and it also keeps the colors from being too dark and too saturated. The other thing that, that I see when I look at this image is the structure in, here at the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a farm equipment or exactly what this is, but I have real mixed emotions about it. On the one hand, I like the way it adds weight and frames the bottom, but it also creates a lot of activity and contrast in, a, in the lower corner and at the edge of the image which is not where your subject is located. And it does, I think, tend to draw attention away from the flag. Uh, I did play around with removing that to explore what might have happened if you had used a different camera angle or possibly been able to move the equipment or wait for it to pass by. And it creates a cleaner image. Uh, you may still prefer it with something down here to offset this curve in the flag. So that becomes a bit of a judgment call maybe. Personally, I think I like the cleaner look uh, versus having the, the equipment down here. So as you're taking the image, be sure to look at all of the edges around the, uh, the image. You know, kind of like I do in the critique, we do what I sometimes call the border patrol. Look at all around the edges and do the same thing when you're looking through the viewfinder. That Are there things, obstructions, uh, tangents, mergers along the edges that create a distracting element. And if so, that's a good opportunity to try maybe a different camera position or a different zoom. Uh, but possibly try to find a different angle that gives you a cleaner perspective on the subject. But overall, I think you've got a great image. It was a, a good catch to, to find this flag uh, flashing, flap, flapping against the sun. I like the way you have it positioned with the sun down low and the way it lights up the flag, so really creates a, a great patriotic image. So, Scott, thank you for submitting this image for us today, and if you would like to submit your image, just send it to me by Facebook Messenger, and I'll be happy to include it. Thanks, and have a great day.